Hello friends, in this video, we will talk about aseptic processing. It is very important for injectable manufacturing about to learn on aseptic processing. So let's begin. So what is aseptic processing? The production of sterile drug products by bringing together the product, container, and closure that have been subjected to different sterilization methods separately and assemble them in an extremely high quality environment by skilled personnel using the right tools. So the product will be stylized separately, container will be stylized separately, closure will be stylized separately. They will brought together into an extremely high quality environment that we can call grade A environment where the product will be filled by the skilled personnel, skilled operator and using the sterilized tools, right tools. So essential ele elements of aseptic processing is the facility, equipment, process, personal, control and verification, finished product testing and documentation. So facility, equipment, process, personal, control and verification, finished product testing and documentation are the important elements of the aseptic processing which ultimately leads into the producing the sterile product. So what are the elements? The facilities, so in, by facility we mean design, that is zoning, differential pressure. We have to maintain differential pressure to maintain the area classification. Temperature, it is very critical from product as well as personal. High temperature may lead to the sweating inside the area and which will ultimately result into the higher microbial count within the area. RH, RH very important from the product as well as human comfort perspective. Personal and material flow. So man movement and material movement is very important into the facility. Air filtration to maintain the area, particulate count and to control the microbial contamination within the area. Equipment, equipment by equipment we will mean material of construction. Material of construction such that it will not react with product, it will not produce contamination, easy to sanitize and easy, easy for component preparation and easy for the sterilization by the steam or any other method. Another essential element is process by which, by which we mean product formulation, filtration. Filtration is very important step in aseptic processing. We have to uh, filter through point to micron filter in order to make it sterilizing filtration. Filling, lyophilization for in the case of lyophilized products and capping. Personal, personal is also very important element. We have to have governing qualification so that Downing is done properly in order to prevent particulates from the body excreting in the area, spreading in the area. Aseptic technique. Aseptic technique is also very important. People need to follow clean area practices, aseptic area practices, so that by that slow movement and perfect technique, they will not contribute to the microbial contamination with the product. Control and verification. By that, we mean environmental and personal monitoring. So we have to monitor environment as well as personal environmental monitoring will include shuttle plate, non-viable particle count. And by that we will ensure that our area is maintaining the required area classification, required particulate classification and the microbial contamination is within limit. Personal monitoring, we have to monitor the gown once they are coming, once the operator is coming out of the area. Aseptic filling simulations we call media fill. We have to simulate the same process of production of the aseptic operation, aseptic filling, but we will using the media, media which will support the growth, growth of the microorganism. So instead of product, we will be using media in the media fields. Finished product testing. So sterility testing, particulate testing, container closure integrity testing, and other final product release testing and stability testing. So sterility testing will give some idea that the samples which were tested were sterile were free of microorganisms. But the ultimate, ultimate or the final assurance is through media fill only. Particulate testing, which will ensure that particles within the container are within limits. Container closure integrity will ensure that during the transport, during the uses, the container closure are able to maintain the integrity and the, the uh, microbial ingress will not be there inside the container. Stability testing ensures that during the shelf life of the product, the product maintains its required chemical and microbial characteristics. Documentation is very important. Media field records, production batch records, EM trend data, release testing batch records, investigation. 
if there is any investigation into the batch or media then response to excursions and corrective actions after the investigation so these are the very important uh, factors which document which will ensure the product quality and ensure the patient safety sterility testing sterility testing is being done by monitoring of aseptic processing compliance requirements are there so we have to follow us pharmacopeia european pharmacopeia british pharmacopeia japanese pharmacopeia and code of federal regulation this method became harmonized with the publication of british pharmacopeia in 2004 pharma europea 5.1 and usp 28 editions sterility testing method overview limited number of sample 4 to 20 containers per medium of parenteral preparations limited volume for analysis not less than 1 ml for 1 to 40 ml container not less than 20 ml for greater than 40 ml containers two media are used swab in case in digest medium and fluid high glycolate medium two temperature conditions are used 22.5 plus minus 2.5 which will make it 20 to 25 degree and 32.5 plus minus 2.5 which will make it to 30 to 35 degree 40 days of inoculation so 7 days at one temperature and 7 days at another temperature and we have to inspect the evidence of microbial growth which can be ter- uh, it will be result into the turbidity and we will come to know about microbial growth within the product and that will indicate of sterility testing failure so this is this test will uh, give you an idea that product was the containers were tested were sterile or not interpretation of result is very simple usp this pharmacopeial procedure are not by themselves designed to ensure that a batch of product is sterile or has been sterilized this is accomplished primarily by validation of sterilization process or of the accepting processing procedure so as i mentioned sterility testing will ensure only the 20 or 40 containers tested were sterile but real assurance comes by the validation of the sterilization process that is autoclave tunnel sip filtration methods and to aseptic processing procedure we or we can call it is a media film when evidence of microbial contamination of the particle is obtained by the appropriate pharmacopeial methods the results so obtained is conclusive evidence of failure of the article to meet the requirements of the test sterility even if a different result is obtained by an alternative procedure now what's fda guidance for industry has to tell fda guidance for industry suggests that the sterility positive result can be viewed as indicative of production or laboratory problems and the entire manufacturing process should be comprehensively investigated since such problems often can extend beyond a single batch so when we have sterility positive results we don't have we must not consider only for one batch we have to see if other batches are impacted based on investigation outcome to invalidate a positive sterility test is extremely difficult if not impossible so we cannot simply invalidate invalidate a positive result in sterility testing quality should be built into the product and testing alone cannot be relied to ensure product quality so we have to build the product quality while we are making it a testing will not add quality to the product then that must be understood media fields media field is validation of aseptic processing true it is the true parameter for assuring that a manufacturing process is capable of producing sterile pharmaceutical using an aseptic process media field program provides evaluation of multiple systems sterility tests versus media field so guidance document sterility test we have fda guidance code of federal regulation and multiple pharmacopeia for media field we have fda eu guide that is revision to nx1 sterility test will only test maximum of 40 containers whereas media field all the containers will be exposed to the sterility testing media so i mean kg digest medium and fluid thioglycolate medium for media field it is so i mean casein digest medium incubation conditions tsb 14 days at 20 to 25 degree fluid thioglycolate medium 14 days for 30 to 35 degree whereas in media field so i mean casein uh, tsb is 7 days for 20 to 25 and tsb 7 days 30 to 35 so both condition are exposed growth promotion test is done in the both the cases sterility test is destructive method media field is non destructive method it cont- uh, containers will be integral sensitivity false positive detects high level of sterility failure no and in media field there is no false positive detects single vial failure even if the single vial is failed it will detect 
so that's it this very short and uh, uh, sweet i just say video to make you aware about the basics of the sap processing if you like it you can subscribe and i will prepare more such video so that you can have a better understanding thank you very much